up it's Sierra Lafay and I'm actually back in the States right now I do have a whole lot of footage from South Africa but all the footage that I have is just kind of like all over the place that I feel like I'm gonna have to just kind of do like a story time for the next couple of videos um, just to kind of explain to you guys some of the things that I did but yeah I don't want to ramble too much so let's just get into this video all right so this particular weekend I wanted to carve it out for my friends because I had been pretty busy with castings and stuff and hadn't had much time that I wanted for them so we went to this place on Friday night called uh, yours truly and it's vibes it's a great place to go we've been there a couple of times actually um, but it's where a lot of people go to pre-game I guess before they hit the clubs but we just wanted to go have some wine do a little bit of dancing and then we were going to meet up with some other friends later um, and then play 30 seconds at my friend T's house so 30 seconds is like a game where you have a car and you have like a list of words and you have to try to describe the words to your team uh, without using the word and you have 30 seconds and you get like however many you get right it's like however many points you have so I had a really good time doing that okay so for the fit today the top is this oversized white button up with the matching bralette that I just picked up from Zara and then I have some wide leg adidas sweatpants and then these shoes I showed you guys in my what I spent in a day in Cape Town um, from Zara the bag I'm gonna wear is just I wear this like 24 7 for the most part it's just my rick owens tote i'm gonna call my uber and we're meeting up at yours truly on clue street Okay, so the next day we went to the Old Biscuit Mill, which if you ever go to Cape Town, this is a must to go to. It was my first time there. And it is just like this huge market of different vendors for like clothes, little um, maybe souvenirs or trinkets you can bring back home. And of course, food. I got so overwhelmed with how many options of food there was to choose from that it took me like I feel like almost 40 minutes to finally decide. I ended up going with Ethiopian food because I've always wanted to try Ethiopian food. For me I don't know why I thought Ethiopian food was going to be similar to Indian food but Indian food is still my number one favorite food of all time because Indian food just has so much flavor to it and I felt like the Ethiopian food was just very healthy like it was good but it just tasted very healthy and then after we ate there I actually had a casting to go to so I had to run to that and then I ran out of data on my phone so I had to go over to Vodacom yeah I think it's called Vodacom and put some more data on my phone and then since I went over to the mall for my phone they have a Woolies uh, in the mall so I went and got some groceries down there too. thinking shoots shoots test shoots what can I get that my casting yeah. and we're celebrities because <laughs> random people have 
called us on the street and said that they saw us. Hold on, Haley. The biscuit yes. meal. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Megan. The, oh, do you mean Megan the staff? Yeah, you didn't see her twerking. Oh, no, I didn't. I was like, wait, Haley. And I just ran out of data on my phone, so I need to run to the waterfront to get it and then figure out the rest of my day. Yeah. But I'll check in with you guys later. It's the evening time, and I made sure to make my way over to Woolies. I'll show you guys real quick. Groceries I got. Got some bread. Got this lentil salad with cucumber, onion, and tomato. I've got this before. It's really good. And this one is just like a bigger size, so I can split maybe to have it like two or three days i got a big jug of water and then i got some sparkling waters i got this pre-made chicken and avocado sandwich i'm really excited for that then got some blueberries and cherries i got these because i'm missing my mom and she loves cherries so got those in honor of her and then i got some free from lactose plain yogurt i wish they had greek yogurt but i can't seem to find greek yogurt anyway and then last but not least you guys have seen this in a couple videos but it's the pina colada um like sparkling drink let me put this stuff up i'm going to take a shower do some editing and i will see you guys later good morning today is sunday it is about 9 30 a.m and i'm on my way to the photographer that i've worked with pretty much when i first got here and we're going to take some photos of me in these braids um, because i do have to unfortunately take them down for a couple of shoots that i have this week but i am going to put these right back in my head most likely before um, I go back to the States. And I already knew that when I got them in that I probably wouldn't be able to keep them for very long. So let's head over to my friend Jane. Sorry for the mic, Campion. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> okay, you can change it up. just made it back home I had so much fun I've never shot with braids before so that was really cool and just the shots that we got was a little bit more cool aesthetic she put um this plastic over the lens to create this filter and I really felt like I was one of those cool kids in like an adidas ad or something so I cannot wait to see the photos I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm going to force myself to film a video of me doing styles with my butterfly locks and then I think I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna wake up and be more productive. I wanna thank me for doing all this hard work. 